What do you think about this information? Let's find out with me. We will give you a tip. You can buy Prince George's nickname in all UK supermarkets. Prince George has started his first day in year four. Prince George has returned for a new year at school and will likely be giddy with excitement at the idea of being in year four. The third in line to the throne is a student at Thomas's School in Battersea, South West London and started there in 2017. Being a member of the royal family at school must be confusing. Do you just get called by your first name? Are you known as your royal highness? Are there any short forms? But it would seem Prince George's classmates have gotten around this system and given the future king the most adorable nickname. Prince George will be learning about the importance of giving back. It is a royal tradition that while a royal is at school or while they are working in a professional capacity that they are known by their first name and use their parents' title as a last name. This means that Prince George is known as George Cambridge to his classmates and teachers. The same goes for his younger siblings as they are known as Charlotte Cambridge and Lewis Cambridge. Prince William and Prince Harry also adopted this tradition during their education and time in the military. They both took the last name of Wales after their father's title of the Prince of Wales. Prince William was known as William Wales during his time at school and in the military. While Prince George is known as George Cambridge, it is said his classmates call him P. Joing to his initials. This nickname is also said to have spread to the Cambridge household, with his parents calling him both PG and Tips after the famous British tea brand, PG Tips. Prince George isn't the only royal who has become linked to the iconic drink brand. His great uncle Prince Edward was dubbed the world's most famous tea boy in 1988, when he was snapped arriving for his first day at Andrew Lloyd Webber's really useful theatre company clutching a box of PG tips for his first job, since quitting the Royal Marines. Prince Edward worked at Andrew Lloyd Webber's theatre in 1988. Prince George's younger sister also has a handful of nicknames. At the 2019 Chelsea Flower Show, Prince William was heard calling to Princess Charlotte to come and give him a push on a swing as they visited the Back to Nature garden designed by the Duchess of Cambridge. But instead of saying Charlotte, he called for Mignonette. The French word is said to mean small, sweet, and delicate or cute. Prince Charlotte's father uses this adorable French nickname for his daughter. Another of the little princess's nicknames was revealed during Prince William and Catherine's tour of Northern Ireland in 2019. As they chatted to well wishes, one woman, Laura Ryan, was asked by Kate about her son. She told the Daily Mail, I said he is four, and she said oh, has the same age as Lottie, she calls her Lottie. The Duchess of Cambridge calls her daughter Lottie, image, Erin Chown slash Par Wire. Nicknames and pet names are not something solely reserved for the little royals, as over the years several brilliant monikers have come to light. Owing to his Greek heritage, it is said that the late Prince Philip was frequently referred to as Phil the Greek, Zorba and Stavros. And, despite the fact that she is the Queen, Her Majesty is not exempt from a silly nickname here and there. According to Daily Mail, while the young Prince William was trying to call out for the Queen, it came out as the name Gary. A guest who went to help asked who Gary was, assuming it must be a member of the royal household. I'm Gary, responded the Queen. He hasn't learned to say Granny yet.
Prince William had the cutest name for his grandmother when he called and say Granny. Even Prince Charles and Camilla have their own special names that have been given to them by their grandchildren. It is said that Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis call their grandfather Grandpa Wales and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall is known as Georgia Georgia. They also reportedly refer to Diana as Granny Diana. The fact that Prince Charles is known as Grandpa Wales is incredibly similar to what the Queen called her own grandfather. The little Princess Elizabeth is said to have referred to King George V as Grandpa England. What do you think about this incident? Leave a comment below this video now. Subscribe to stay up to date with us.